Hey friends, happy Friday. It's Hungry Hungry Hoosiers time, and you know the difference between soup stock and soup broth, because I do not. I know, I cannot say I do, and that's why our friend Kylie is here. She's helping us take our soups to the next level. Hi Kylie. That's right. Hi Jillian. Hi Ryan. Good to have you back. Thank you. you. Know, we love when you're here. Thank you. So the important thing, so a lot of people make good soups, right? Yeah. You make a soup and you're like, this tastes good, but there's a difference between good soup and wow, this is okay. great soup. Yeah, and it all starts with the foundation. So the First thing I want to talk about is mirepoix. Are you familiar with mirepoix? mirepoix. I've heard the term, but yep. I don't think I could. You are. It. Lauren is Lauren, my wife. She she does the mirepoix, but I couldn't tell you. I know carrots are in it. Yes. But I don't so know. mirepoix is onions, carrots, and celery. Okay. So it's a two to one to one ratio. So okay. the weight of the carrots and the celery should equal the weight of the onion. And when I'm looking at soup recipes online, yes. if it doesn't start with mirepoix, I don't trust you it. You don't even look at it. You know, I don't trust sorry. it. Okay, yeah. so this can help All any soup. soup. That's how you know it's The legit. foundation, mirepoix, yeah. Great. Second thing you wanna look for is stock. So are you familiar, I guess you just said, you're not stock versus broth. I don't so know the difference. Yeah. Stock is basically the bones of an animal, whether if you're making beef stock, beef bones, Yep. Chicken stock, chicken stock sure. bones that have then been roasted and simmered in water for a really long time, like okay. six to eight hours. Yep. The bones release the collagen, they make the stock very thick and flavorful. Broth, on the other hand, is just meat simmered in water okay. for maybe like one to two hours. Got it's it. not going to be as flavorful. Yeah. So when you're in the yeah. supermarket and you're looking, you see like the stock and the broth all lined up, and you're like, which one do I grab? Yep. Grab the stock. Okay. So I want you all to sample Good this. Tip. So this is a two dollar stock okay. versus a six dollar broth and i think when people okay. um tr like see oh well this one's more expensive yeah i should buy this for my soup they're drinking okay that's what they're in little party cups for oh a you're right you're right you're right yeah that's the stock. That's the stock. Okay, let's taste the broth. And I will say everything is better homemade, right? Now okay. you tell me if you taste that much of a difference between a six dollar and a two dollar thing. I way oh. prefer the stock. Right? Yeah, this the is fine. Stock is like yeah. Thicker and and this one even this one even says that you can drink it. I wouldn't drink that. Anyway, hopefully they don't ever want to approach me about a sponsorship because I just really <laughs> I really poo pooed them. That's fine. That's yeah. Fine. And I'm this is a money. homemade one? And this is so homemade. something I've seen that's been really popular popping up lately is garlic parm stock. Okay. And I have been really leaning into this. So I have told you oh, all wow, is that good? about oh, see, that is Parmesan great. rinds. You great. know, I preach Parmesan rinds. Yeah. Don't throw away your Parmesan rinds. They're gold. Look at all these Parmesan rinds I have. Like, I'm not yeah. trying to brag, but this is basically, I'm like a billionaire in the culinary world. <laughs> That's a lot of rinds. That's a lot That's of now, money. if you don't have rinds at home, you can actually buy them at Whole Foods okay. in the cheese department. Really? Anyway, huh. so that stock, just to show you, stock can be made with pretty much anything. And so that stock is just made with uh, crushed garlic yeah. and Parmesan rinds. I, I love that we live in a world that you can barter with Parmesan rinds. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I want to live in any other world. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Right, yeah. So anyway, I thought that the um, garlic parm stock would do really well with a French onion oh, soup. Oh man, this sounds So good. that's what I, I have love French here. French onion. Mm. Thank you. While you all are sampling this, I briefly want to touch on this. Yeah. Uh, Please do. I think if I ever make a memoir, the title of my memoir would be Bring to a Boil, Reduce to a Simmer. Mm. You see that in all soup recipes, right? Mm. It's because you want wow. your soup to come to a boil so you see what the boiling point is mm -hmm. and then you can reduce it to a simmer because okay. you don't want to boil your soup. You're going to have all that liquid evaporate before it has time to really turn into flavor and also mm. it'll jostle around all the ingredients and anyway can't so that's jostling. why no can't be jostling mm. that's for sure so this is a boil and then you won't be able to see it drop to a simmer quickly enough but anyway a great French onion soup this this is thank you I'm a big fan it's of a little it. lighter than like a beef stock yeah. French yep. onion I right need this yeah, yeah. and as you can see I don't have oven proof bowls or ramekins so I just torched it Super really? good. Yeah. I love a good crunchy, yeah, uh, a crunchy crouton too. I think you need too. those specialty stop Right, things. right. Mm. They look nice, but they're really expensive. I don't have space for that. I don't have money for that. Mm. So just torch it. Just torch so it. Good. Yeah. These are why your tips wow. are so incredible. Kylie, how Thank can people so follow much. along yeah, with you? Yeah, you can follow me at Kylie Scales Kitchen on Instagram or Kylie's Kitchen on Facebook or X, formerly known as Twitter. Yes. <laughs> and um, also Kylie's Kitchen Blog.com. Great recipes. Oh. Just good people too. Give her a follow, support local. Thanks, Thank Kylie. Thank you so much.
was so fun. So good. Delicious. Thank you. Thank you very much. Still to come, our friend Christopher Lloyd is here at the Film Yap. He's going to share his reviews of the new movies hitting theaters this weekend. And we're going to ask the owner of a yarn market about her upcoming crocheting and knitting classes and how you can help her to keep some kids in Indy warm this winter. Enjoy this mid-80s Peter Cetera song. We'll be right back.